welcome back to our channel Brand Venus TV and for today's video, we will be sharing with you the different types of vaccines that is currently being administered around the globe to halt the spread of coronavirus. The first vaccine is the Pfizer-BioNTech vaccine. Pfizer vaccine is 95% effective and is an mRNA vaccine that prevents COVID illness. Two doses are needed in Pfizer vaccine with 21 days apart and people aged 16 and older are the ones that can get the vaccine. Some of the side effects of these vaccines are the following. Pain on the injection site, fatigue, headache, muscle pain, chills, joint pain, fever, nausea, and swollen lymph nodes. That is all about the Pfizer vaccines. The second vaccine is the Moderna vaccine or the mRNA vaccine like the Pfizer vaccine. It is 94% effective, preventing the COVID-19 virus with symptoms. Like the Pfizer vaccines, Moderna vaccines has also two doses with 28 days apart and there is also some protection that is detected after the first dose. People 18 years old and above can get Moderna vaccines and it has the same side effects as the Pfizer vaccines. People who have an immediate allergic reaction for any vaccine or any injectable medication should be cautious about getting the vaccine. The third vaccine is the Johnson vaccine or the Johnson & Johnson vaccine. This vaccine is a vector vaccine that is 66% effective with only one dose required. And survey says that there is some protection that is provided two weeks after vaccination. The side effects include headache, fatigue, muscle pain, chills, fever, and nausea. The fourth vaccine is the Oxford or the AstraZeneca vaccine. This was developed in the University of Oxford, that is why it is called an Oxford vaccine. Its safety is approved for people who are 18 years old and above. And like the other vaccines, two doses is needed in AstraZeneca vaccine with the second dose 4 to 12 weeks later after the first dose. It takes about two weeks to develop significant protection against COVID-19 and to achieve the greatest protection, you will need the second dose. The possible side effects are pain on the injection sites, body chills, fatigability, and fever. So this ends our video and I hope it will help you choose the vaccine that you need. But the question is, what is really the best vaccine for you? Expert says that the best vaccine is the first one that's being offered to you. As Burstyn says, the president of the research organization C4 in Canada, all vaccines are working really well and that's the bottom line. Some medical expert says, yes, each shot comes with a different efficacy rate, but that doesn't mean you can easily conclude that one is better than the others. <laughs>